Looks good and white. Morning, everyone. Chris, you at the toy box. It's about quarter to eight on Sunday. Got two more weeks until Halloween, so we are going to get going as fast as we can on the rest of this stuff. Pa got here about an hour ago. But this is where we left it. We came here early last week on Friday, and we built this pergola-looking thing. And right now we're just in the middle of trimming it out. So I'm going to set up a time lapse here for you guys real quick, and then I'll come back and explain our plan. How brutal this looks. Got her hanging. Oh, I got one right here actually. Well, that made a lot of it. We'll see she's not touching the ground. We made this perfect. So she'll be resting like that. And when she's going at it, she's puts her head on and she goes back and forth and pulls herself up. That's how she'll be looking just in rest mode. That's gnarly. Also got these all hooked up. Not hooked up, but we're gonna try to make a door here. We'll frame this in. So we got this like a cabinet kind of. We got them bolted in from this side just to hold them in there. This will be our panel for the uh, props on this platform. Nice. These little trim pieces on there. I just put on this side right here. We're gonna match it over on this side. We got this framed in at least. And I used some screws just to make it stronger. See here, one of the screws that's broke, but just to make it nice and strong so it's not just nails. It'll pull it tighter. And this will have the this will be the cabinet frame. So this will come right over here. It'll be angled like so. Yeah, it's coming together nice. We're securing these a little bit better. I'm putting some bolts through them. Did you guys see that knot? Yep. I'm gonna get going on this trim piece. And then this one's just about done. This chicky, I mean, we gotta 
get these pergola pieces upright and secured. And we have to secure this guy, as well as run all the, the lines around and up to the control panels. Yeah, what do you think, Pa? Getting there. Getting there. These boys over here working on the plumbing for the uh, vacuums. To get this guy strong enough, we had to put these brackets up here that both push and pull. So this this top piece snapped. This snapped on us. This one right. There's my finger right there. So we had to put a, another piece on the outside just to kind of keep it nice and secure. But so we're pushing on this side with that piece, as well as pushing in the middle. With that piece and one on, one on this side too. That piece that screws one into itself. She is. It should be nice and secure now because we got weight going both directions. Now what we need to do is figure out the best way to get. Well, we can see where this rocks a little bit. We're gonna try to secure this to this somehow, just to give it extra strength. It's solid side to side which is what she does, kind of crash back and forth. But we need, we need that strength for rocking, both for transportation and just having the, having the strength. Got Jim in the house? Yeah. Jim cut us the 4x4 platform supports. Boys got this all finished up almost. That's the vacuum for all these uh, wood equipment. And working on getting this plumbed up so we made this manifold here. Got it all secured nicely. What's well, going to feed each one of these power supplies. And then this one, this one will just be the one that goes right to the Right, sticking out like that or so. We're gonna try this thing out here pretty soon. Got the top on here too. I secured it with the bolts in the front and then I just screwed it on the back. It wasn't exactly square, you can see this. So I just split the difference, made it about the same on the back. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty low of air. It was only feeding it at about 60 psi. So we'll have to. It'll be different once it's at the full 90 or 110, whatever it is. That's roughly what that one's going to be doing. 
We should try this guy next. <laughs> if you smacked us so hard. <laughs> That thing is violent. This thing is going to be aggressive to the perception of a small child. I can't even wait till these ones are getting done. These ones are a little more graphic than those guys, but yikes. All right, it's about one o'clock. We're going to try to wrap this one up today. We have to put this guy secured and we have to attach the lights and all the airlines going to tucked away. And then this guy will be ready for our paint and stain. Okay, it's about 2 o'clock. We're going to take a lunch break quick. We got this guy all bolted down. And we secured this pergola really well, actually, by coming up with this idea just to put a brace right there. And that, that holds this and it prevents a lot of this from shimmying because both of these guys, as you saw, are pretty pretty aggressive and they move around a lot. And it's a lot of weight up top. The only thing that's holding it down is one bolt down here. So we want to put a little support bracket. Now we're going to get these 4x4 platforms ready for, thing, shut up. for the hoses and the uh, generators. So we'll put some casters on there. But first, yeah, 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 mm. some talk shing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, get some ambient lighting going. Look at that oh. shaking. Yeah, so hungry. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like doing it with a razor blade so I can feel it that way. I can help in a second, need my help? So what this is, is a power cable that the outside deal attaches to. So the cord will come over here from the generator and plug right into that. 
Yeah, Chad <laughs> Dave's. Yeah. And this will end up coming right on the outside. Just like so. Okay, I didn't film what I was gonna film, the install, but this is what this looks like when it's all, when it's all done. Just like that. And this will end up coming being plugged into this outlet. And that'll be our main power supply. So as he feeds that, I got this thing going. The hot gun. I'm just gonna glue that power strip on there. Oh, you mean like that? We're gonna try to figure out a way to get the airline through this top channel so we can get hidden and underneath there. In the meantime, I gotta make this. This is what the pieces look like on the inside of the box. So this is on the outside that you see just one quick disconnect for the airline. This on the beam right about there. And then our main uh, quarter inch line here, plug into it on the inside here. And then that goes down to a smaller diameter from there. That hole is a little, little big, but it'll work. I need like some bigger washers or something down there. What she looks like. So from the outside, you'll see just that power, air, and then this air comes up to this tube here. Comes with the manifold, breaks off into the three air lines that we need, one for each unit. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, Jim working on framing this in. Kicking ass on it. Yeah, it's about 4.25 now. I'm gonna start wrapping up here for the day. Got these boys working on, these will be those 4x4 platforms that will house our hose and our generator. Making them just like the other platforms, so we just frame it in, put the supports on, and makes it nice and strong. about five o'clock this is basically a work day on Sunday sorry family I got some more of this green stuff I'm gonna attach probably back here in the corner and uh, we got some really theatrical style fake blood kind of similar actually to this where it hardens a little chunky and a little shiny it doesn't look like we just painted you know red on the thing so I think we're gonna put some of that on some of the base of these platforms like this and like that cycle dude and and the babe hanging from the back of this platform. We got one of these guys made. This will be for the hoses and when I say hoses I mean these things. We hook these up to, this is our, look at the diameter of the air supply that we need to power all these things. We have this solar unit over here that we just put in, the, in my side yard and this is what, that's the amount of CFM we needed for controlling all this stuff. This is a lot of air move. It's kind of like blown out in irrigation which is what that compressor is for. But here, this is kind of what that one pop looked like from behind. So nice power and air, just one control 
one airliner that controls all of the stuff. So those manifolds end up looking just like that. Anyway, starting to get fogged, so I'm gonna end this video here. Before I go, I took the delivery of another car yesterday, one that I traded the Macan in for. So if you watch those videos in the past, you'll you'll know what it is. But I'll be posting that here probably in the next week or two. We have a big Halloween party that we host every year. We got like 125, 130 people signed up for it this year, and that's gonna be done here at the Toy Box. Uh, that is next weekend, then my nephew's getting married the following weekend, but um, regardless, we have two weekends until Halloween, so we're going to still try to get one more platform done. We're going to get this thing stained up and painted, because I think it's pretty much done, except for an amber light and one more strobe. But we still have all of these guys to put on something, or save them for next year. We'll figure that out, but I will end this video here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.